Hey guys! For the second part of this uh, tutorial on how to get your caroons, I want to show you the, the quests you should be doing in Tiamaranta. And those quests you can get after level 57 and 58. And you can get it from Jupiter and Daisha right here at the. Uh, what's it called? I don't know. Right here. So, anyway, after you get all quests, I forgot to get one daily. See a smile on you. The best that you should be doing, at least that works the best for me, is the following. First, first of all, you come right, out, right outside the fortress, and right here you kill the mob for the daily quest. So you just basically need to go down this hill. Okay, this mob is dead. Now we can head for the second target. And it spawns right here in this region. Let's first get my mount. And I tell you on the map. So we are moving this way. And we cross uh, this Balor cavalry uh, base. And we are going to kill the mob as well as right here. So basically the best way is uh, you should go clo close to the wall right here then how many mobs are behind me? 15 okay ignore them all and go f for the kill this one Mob's dead, run away. If you think that it's too risky to aggro all those mobs and have them all uh, hitting you at the same time, you can maybe be a little bit more careful. As you could see, I wasn't that careful. And they pretty much hit me. It doesn't matter, I survived. Okay, now that this mob is down, you want to return to the fortress and turn in this two quests. Well. Okay, you can turn in the quest. To victory. And we are now heading to the next target. Fly on seal's wing beats. And this time we have to take fly a flight to Cindercon outpost. And from here uh, we have to kill the mob that spawns 
right in this crossroad right here. So let's go ahead. Okay, when you when you reach the Cindercon outpost, you basically have to run outside. Just follow this uh, kind of path here, and the mob that you have to kill should be should be here. But sometimes, when you cannot find it here, you can actually go around this uh, mountain and you find him uh, just wandering here and there so let's see if we can get him no I can see him right now Oh, there he is. So the name is Burning Erston. So let's go ahead and kill this guy. Okay, now we can proceed to the next mob, which is, in my opinion, the hardest one that we have to kill, and most likely you will need a uh, group to kill him. And I'm not kidding, that guy is really tough. So, where it is, I will tell you in a moment. Let me just get back to the base. And I'll show you where it is. So from here, what you should do now is to get the either craft and fly all the way down to Petro outpost. And the mob that we have to kill now, again let's draw the way. Where's Petro? Here. The mob that we have to kill, we need to go into the PvP zone. Uh, here, and then we turn here, and we kill the mob here. And it, it's called Anos or something. And it's really, it's it's a really tough guy. And also, there's a problem that you could be uh, attacked by Asmus inside so yeah if you are doing this quest you should bring a friend along just to make sure that you won't get killed in there I will try this alone though I'm not sure how it will uh, work out but it is for science let's do it okay, most likely want to have your HP at maximum, probably PvP gear should be on. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. You need to go down these uh, flats here. So now it's a PvP zone, so be really careful. Just check your radar down here. Actually, you probably won't find that many people uh, hanging out here because people are most likely killing each other in uh, Catalan. But still, you may find someone here. And also, it's important to avoid every mob that you find here 
because they are all elites and they hurt so you don't want to get hit by those guys oh there he is that big guy over there so yes kill him See, it took me, I don't know, three minutes to kill him. It's a real tough mob. But anyway, I finished it, so I'll get out of here. And basically, I need to turn in the quest. Okay, so I'm right here in front of the, in front of the NPCs that gives me the weekly quest. And I can basically turn in twenty. See a smile on you. Thirty makes fifty. To victory. And yeah, I think that that's it for the current weekly. You have you have to run it in Sarpan and Tiamaranta, and at the end of the day, you may get up to two hundred maybe 250 symbols and that will help you to get dream uh, gear for the level 6 player so that's it I hope that this video was helpful and I see you next time bye bye